Hello, darling. Hi, Trini. We're now in the basement. Yes, we haven't been down here before. We haven't been in the basement. So what I thought I would do is in this part two or three, whichever it's going to be, of Closet Confessions, is show you my build-up rails and, and what this railing system is because I'm lucky to have a really big basement, but this is like where everything goes to before it's going to go somewhere else. So we've got a rail here, which I will go on in a minute, which is at the moment going to go to the office for their clothing swap. And then as we move down, this is a mixture of summer clothes of mine, and I don't know if I wear them anymore, summer clothes of Lila's, which she wears because she has a tiny cupboard, literally like that, and so she needs to put stuff somewhere. Um, old coats, I in fact brought these down today. Molly brought these down today. And these are things where I bought this and I love this. And this was like, you know, a really good piece from Zara. And if I put it on now, I think we'll want to keep it or not. Can I just say everyone on the tribe is desperate to buy this second hand. So really? it's quite good. Really? Yeah, everyone I see wants to buy it. So maybe keep it. Okay, so maybe then we need to keep something for a tribe sale. <laughs> ah, those words. So this is like one of my oldest coats. Um, and this is a coat that I got from Miu Miu about 22 years ago. And I don't know if we showed this before. I love this coat. And I feel Lila one day will love this coat. Yeah. It's quite long for her. I think it's great on you, Trini. Great for the country. Yeah. It's great for the country if it did up and it made me feel warm. Mm. I remember wearing it where fashion was followed slavishly over other things for my country pursuit weekends. And I'd wear this and wear the thinnest cashmere because nothing else would fix look how tight it is. <laughs> and I would shiver and try to be really cool and like, I don't feel the cold because I wanted chic <laughs> over comfort. Yeah. Yes, that was one era. We've all been there. Oh my God. This on the other hand is a tricky one because this I feel I don't want to get rid of it. It's from Jessie Weston, and I bought it when I was going to a weekend at um, a week in Utah. What Gorgeous. do we think? Do we I love think? the rainbow kind of effect. And it's so warm and cosy. I just need a way to wear it. I could go on and on, but I'm going to show you why I'm getting rid of the stuff on the rail here. The bag is here. Do you remember that we did yes. another one? Those bags are here. So they're all going to go to Swapsies. There's a dress here from Rixo, and I'm thinking, actually... Do I love that colour? You know, I'm, I'm getting second thoughts on that. Would you thought? put a jumper on top? And make it a skirt? Yes. Or would I just make it a skirt? Ooh. Or would I just make it a really pretty skirt? Ooh. Ooh, yes. That's maybe Thank an you, Molly. Susanna moment. Okay, then we've got, do you ever buy a second pair of something in a different colour because you love the shape of the first pair and you found a second pair in the sale? Yes. Tick. <laughs> colour doesn't suit me, the original ones did. That's why I'm getting rid of these. Okay. Do you ever buy a second pair of sun because you love the pink ones that you had before? Yes. Tick. I did this with the me and M's. I love them, but this is not. Teal is a color used to suit me when my hair was redder, but doesn't actually, isn't my favorite color now. Mm -hmm. Do you ever still think you're 15? And go back to the memory of an item of clothing that you had when you were 15, which I can describe to you like a love song. It was a corduroy blue trouser my parrot, my dad got for me with a matching floral shirt. These are from C'est La Vie. I love them, but they um, sent them to me very sweetly, but they thought I was smaller than I was and I can't wear them. And they're too wide for Lila because she's too petite for that width. I bought these white trousers because it's a perfect white trouser and it's light and it's fluid, but I didn't look at the cellulite showing through my ass in the back mirror. Tick. That's why those are going to so it's going to go to team members who don't yet have cellulite. Um, <laughs> then we have a coat that a friend of mine gave me, and I love this coat, but I have got a lot of coats, and I've got to curl coats, and I want somebody else to have this home. This is from a brand in um, China, actually, and, um, and I adored it. And I actually, I'm going to put it on now and not want to get rid of it. Oh, I like it. You know? Yeah, it's really There's nice. something really good about it, isn't there? I love the pop of neon on the bottom. Mm. I so love fun. the pop of neon. So fun. Sorry. It's <laughs> going back. That's going back. That's going back. This really is all about how to buy better next time. Yeah. This I love. This is from Acne, and I adored this. But I was much, much blonder when I bought it. And I think this colour green is really good on your kind of blonde, but not on mine, or on a redhead. Yeah, I was about to say redheads look yeah. gorgeous with that colour. But you know what I love? So I love the way that it did this. Yeah, oh, ASMR. By itself. That's acne for you. <laughs> Endlessly stylish and cool. Gorgeous. Um, but oh, that will go to a nice home. That will go to such a nice home because it's it, it will. And that gives me joy that it will go to a nice home. These are jumpers, you know what? 
I bought them in a frenzy. They were 19 quid. This is the mistake I'm not gonna make next year. Next year, I'm only going to buy investment jumpers. Shapeless Big Baggy. I bought it for the color. It's not itchy itchy, but it's just so shapeless. And then I bought it in blue, green, okay. whatever. So that's good. They're going. Another thing. I bought this in the sale. This is what it all starts with. It's like I should never buy clothing in a sale. But then I bought some good things in the sale. <laughs> um, so this is a Maximara dress. And I kind of thought beautiful, but it was very volumizing. So then I got S. Susanna to make some holes. So it ties in the back and it's loose here. It ties inside you at the back. Mm -hmm. So I thought wonderful for holidays. Yeah, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Why are you giving it away? <laughs> Put it on the, yeah. I'm just gonna put it on one side. I might give this the last the outing and see. Okay. I bought a few dresses when I did this morning, or Amber, more correctly, it was doing a lot of this morning things and at the end of it, she would say, Trini, do you want to get that dress or something? Um, just always made me look like Barbara Cartland's 90 year old mm. breast. You know that feeling of just like, yeah. There You're not no really a v-neck, are you? I'm not a v-neck, no. This is a classic. You know where I wore this? Oh, where? And I tried to sell it once, it didn't really sell. Um, <laughs> I wore it to Elizabeth Hardy's wedding. Oh. And I remember Lila was a bridesmaid and I felt so good in it at the time. I had my hair up in a kind of beehive. I thought I was a doctor and I look back and I look so 1980s dynasty in a 2000 wedding. It was a 2005 <laughs> wedding and I was really channeling 1990s Joan Collins. Oh, that's gorgeous colour though. Yeah, it's a great colour. She was at the wedding too, but I think I'm more like her than anything else. This I love, I love this print, but you know I have the suit in it and yeah. the dress, the print was not so strong and it's better on a blonde. Okay. Okay. This was a jumpsuit that we think we're going to do a Friday twinning and I bought it and I had a moment of fun thinking for the summer and then in fact, it is too uh, on the crutch. Now this, I will lay the blame entirely at Molly's door because she loved this, she fell in love, she said, you and Chloe look amazing for twinning, it's gonna be incredible. And I, we didn't do it and I thought, I'll, I'll get it anyway because it's wonderful. And no, it didn't work. This, another moment where I thought, let me do five layers of sequin, but it's a, actually a really cheap sequin. It feels a cheap sequin. And when I put it on, it catches on everything and now it's going. Okay. I've got so many Christmassy, sh you know, shimmery jumpers. Yes. And this is French Connection, I think. Um, and I bought it because I, I was on a run mm -hmm. of sequin jumpers. Yeah. And I didn't have that feeling of grey one. And it's so long and the shape does nothing for me. Oh, let's get another sequin dress, but my God, the length is appalling. It doesn't give you a waist and the sleeves are too short. But it might look great on someone else. <laughs> oh my God, it will. Um, I bought three of these jackets. I've yes. um, worn them. I mean, this I've worn the least because it was my third one, but, and I did rotate them and I wore them for about four years and they cost like 49 quid. So I love them. They did very well for me, but I'm no longer that person. And this top shop, it was part of a suit. It was cool, but complicated. And I need somebody at the office who's cool, but complicated to get it because it's sort of tied up in a weird mm -hmm. way and I couldn't get my head around it. This was such a great, this is La Marie, which was for H&M. Um, for, um, they did Ooh. this range and they did one in white special. and they did one in this color. And it's a super cool raincoat actually. I did this for a closet confessions talking about how to wear denim and I loved yeah. it, but it only worked with my really high-waisted jeans, which I'm less inclined to wear because I have to wear such a high heel. So I'm having to eradicate clothing where I have to wear very high heels. These oh, breed in the office this... and I know this will have a good home. We got these for everybody yeah. um, two Christmases in a row at Trini London and lots of people will wear them. And I just think somebody who didn't get one first time around has the opportunity, but I do have them breathing upstairs in the cupboard. I saw this in the sale. And I thought, I have to get in every single colour. I look terrible in cold red. Do you notice? Is there any red really in my life, apart from the red suit from Zara, which I wear around with you, so that's going. This is a very nice coat. It's from Staples. And the shape is nice, like that. Yeah, great colour. It's a great colour. But the sleeves, to me, for a big overcoat, look how short they are. 
Mm. And it just doesn't feel right. I when I when you're this tall, I think you really need to when you put coats on thing, I can't always wear it with a glove and I do actually want the sleeve to be there. Yeah. You know, otherwise it just doesn't work for me. That's gonna have such a happy home. It will. Isn't it just gonna have the best home? The best home. Oh I can't wait to see somebody coming to the office wearing it. <laughs> um okay. I have enough sequin jackets. This was a very good one. But the shape is a bit boxy for me. Okay. Know. This is one that I had, my, one of my first sequin jackets um, from French Connection, I think, or somewhere in New York. Um, and I just think I've, I've done that already. This is Zara, I got in sale, mm -hmm. look at that. This is a favorite I used to wear for many years, we've done in Classic Confessions, oh. but it's beginning to go. And I just think there are some really cool young girls in the office who love this kind of vintage stuff. Yeah. And Lila's not into it. This is the boxy jacket I'm gonna put on now because this is the only way that I could wear it if I wore it. Should I keep it? I don't think so. Yeah. Thank you. So easy. <laughs> it really deserves a different body shape. Another question. Did you buy something because you love the colour? It was cut beautifully. It had long sleeves, but it was not for your body shape. <laughs> so somebody with very long legs and a short body. Mm -hmm. I have three of these um, and uh, I did them in navy. I like the navy one, but this one, I don't think I'm a t-shirt and a long skirt girl because I might, my clothes sometimes I like to be more complicated mm -hmm. or so clean that it's not floaty. Yeah. It's more structured, yeah. So I just think I'm not that person. Like when we're talking about mutton lamb, this is not mutton lamb. This is, for me, I feel frumpy now if I wear clothes like this. Yeah. Got it. Jumper, have hardly worn, loved it. I just feel Lila one stage might love it, but she's not loving it right now and I've offered it to her a few times. That's going there. Jumper from Zara, going there. Jumper from um, Joseph, it's so old, going there. This is one I thought about keeping, but the color is not 100% my color. Mm -hmm. And I haven't worn it. This is something I got when I saw Making the Cut. Oh, no, yeah. I saw that, Making the Cut. And I thought, fabulous. And um, it was just appallingly different from the original that Heidi Klein wore. <laughs> um, and this, I can't remember where I got it from. Did I make it since up? No, I got it from Mango in the summer on holiday oh, yes. it's actually very nice but when i put it on i feel it's quite big i oh. must have bought 20 of these over the years i bought three gray then two black then a white then a yellow then the a stripes blue they did. <laughs> the stripes everything yeah. but this one i've never worn but do we like the color on me no it's too cold on me the color i bought two of these by mistake oh i don't need to oh nice someone yeah. will love that yeah somebody will love that this is the side fastening zara trousers which are the cropped ones mm -hmm. I think I bought so many black and white in every colour and then one day to the next I was like, no more out the wardrobe. And this didn't make the cut then, it's making the cut now. Ooh. Um, <laughs> then we've got some velvet trousers. Oh, they're snazzy. Well, yes, they're very snazzy. These are from Zara. And I bought them and they were in a medium and I thought they'd fit me. And then I thought all I need to do is, is the zipper had broken. So I sent them off to her stand to clean, put the zipper back on. She sent them back and I put them on again. I couldn't do them up. These, I love the color, too short. Why didn't oh. I listen to the shortness? <laughs> that is the jacket that goes over the dress that's really pulls on everything. Yes. Can pull on somebody else for mm. all I care. This is a lovely French Connection shirts in stripes. I have nine striped shirts, it's going. Phoebe and Grace, I loved it. I've been there, I've done it. The trousers were always too short. Still a great shirt but it's made of polyester and for sweating, it's not good. Okay. Sorry. Then we have this section of the house, which is called the boiler room. In here, <laughs> there's a mixture of things. And this is where sometimes Lila comes down to, and you know, this is meant to be kept quite tidy, but Lila comes with a friend and it's a dressing up moment. And I come down to like, Lila, did you tidy up? So in here we have shoes I do not wear, which one day Lila hopes will fit her you know, exquisite shoes, which should be kept better actually. I've got a shoe covered outside, we'll do this in because they are really beautiful. Like that is like a perennially beautiful shoe. Yeah. But just gorgeous. a tiny bit too small for me. I've got shoes like, you know. Oh my Louis gosh. Louis Vuitton. I mean, that's the heel I used to wear. <laughs> that is the heel I used to wear. Uh, but I also wore Charlotte and Pierre, that heel. Wow. You know? And these things are just like here and I'm thinking they're treasures. Oh. I also wore that Fendi heel. So cool. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I mean, it's a work of art. It's and literally I just, a sculpture. I can't, can't quite get rid of those yet. Skirts, which I loved, 
and I want to keep for Lila. So are they kept properly? Not totally, but beautiful little um, broderie anglaise skirt from Prada, which one day will suit her. Christian Lacroix. Mm -hmm. And this is a like real, incredibly beautiful long skirt with the kind of like a bustle, like an Edwardian skirt, really high waisted. And Maya skirts in here, you know, like this, really, really high waisted bubble oh, skirt, so just cool. incredible, like sculptural pieces. And I used to wear it with a gray body in the same, um, same company. Stella skirts, Marnie skirts, more Alaya skirts. So I'm just, that's what's happening there. We've got bags. I could get rid of a few. So let's just get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. It's very nice, McCormie, but I don't need it. Let's get rid of that. It's all going in that sale. Yeah, that I, it's like a Marnie and I love it. Yeah. I just love it. Um, this is another Marnie that I kind of love. And it's it's not the era of that bag, but I feel they're such beautiful bags. And it's like my Prada bag. This was my travel bag, all right, before other travel bags appeared on the scene. This is a Marc Jacobs one. You know? Yeah. That's empty. Ooh. <laughs> More shoes. Alaya, Balenciaga. So many friends of mine, Indian friends of mine, who are getting married. And when you go to an Indian wedding, it's many days of events. And I had that a few times. And I went shopping. <laughs> then we've got here, what are we? Oh my God, that's like my fabric. Oh my God, that's one of my dresses that is actually in good condition. Do you know how much I love this dress? This is a <laughs> dress which I wore a lot and it's been washed so much the one upstairs that's lost its color. Oh, did you wear it over white trousers with the slit? Yes, I did, thank yeah. you. Yeah. The Tega dress. Oh, wow. You know, so pretty, crumpled up, chiffon, you know, like on Lila. Mm hmm That's her color. Well, it's so pretty and that's so her color, so I'm very happy. Along with some caftans, I mean, random, put together. Sarongs. I knew I had lost my sarongs. I look at all these summer hats. I keep buying summer hats, not realizing <laughs> these eight summer hats are here. That'd be another day. And then on more bags. I went through a stage where I loved corsets so much. And I bought all these corsets from a place called Chantal Thomas in Paris. It's like Ooh. the most expensive lingerie shop in Paris. I was se separating from my husband and I just felt I need to regain my sexuality. Yeah. And I bought corsets and I bought like six of them. They're so cool. I know, they're me? beautiful, aren't they? They're oh my gosh. I mean, they're constructions of many hundreds of euros, is all I could say. <laughs> Coming out back out of the room, I'm going to bring these up to the bag. Thing. I'm going to take those onto the rail. So we're out of the boiler room. We're out of the boiler room now. Okay. So this has been a mammoth session and it's been very much my own personal story. Everyone will have a proportionality around what they should keep and what they should get rid of. However big or small your wardrobe is. And that's the thing here. It's to look at everything and think, why did I buy it? How was I feeling when I bought it? Have I ever worn it again? If I haven't worn it again, why haven't I worn it again? and write down the rule you're going to make yourself to avoid that mistake in the future. This was the Closet Confessions of Closet Confessions. And I hope in the next two weeks, when I have a bit of downtime, if I do, in January, that I will really do a further big culling and I'm going to make a big rail for sale for something, which we can then all think, what should that be? And over a certain period of time, when we've got the manpower to do it, I will, um, do some kind of sale because I think there's a lot of stuff here which Lila's not going to love, which the team will have been just over indexing on Trinique Claire. I can't walk in the office <laughs> and um, just see myself in every single yeah. you know outfit that would be a bit weird, but I don't mind at all. I love it. I love nothing more than to see somebody wearing something that I used to have and seeing them get joy from it, and that is the joy of buying clothes you love. I, there's nothing here really I haven't loved at some stage. It's just, you can't love something for 10 seconds. You know, you've got yeah. to love it for a longer time to know if it's gonna stay in your wardrobe. Oh, thank you, Trini. All right, darlings, thank you for um, watching. We're going to start looking at, I think, how we organize our wardrobes, mm -hmm. you know, and how you hang things. And we'll go back to that sort of January moment of, now I've culled, how shall I hang? Okay. Yeah, well, no, it's a cat. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.